What's up out there? It has been a couple of days and we are ready to catch up on Ancient Relic Mode. So I did get a few relics. Will the summary mode help? I got some, what did I get here? Plus 10 combination runes produced per action in rune crafting. I got that one. I got this minus 25%, 20, yeah, minus 25% rune crafting interval. And then we got something in mining, I think. Which one was this? 30% something or other. 30% chance to gain one additional resource in mining. Got that one. And then on the thieving side of things, let me go back to this. I thought this was really cool. I, I got, uh, let's see here. Plus 50% 50, 50 gold from thieving. So we got that one. And then... I think that was the last one I needed. So I ended up getting this other 0.5% chance to receive a thieving area unique item. So this is the first full relic that I have. I don't know if we get anything for that or, you know, like if you get them all or if it's just, that's what it is, but this is done. So for thieving, that one is done. I thought it says here you get them at level 20 and 99. I know those are guaranteed. Like I, like if you've just never gotten a drop, but RNG wise, I got them all. So I don't get any more from this. Not sure how that's handled. I guess it just quietly ignores it, but got that. And then we got 20% rune. What was this one on? Something for rune. Maybe it was rune crafting. Um, I'm not sure. I put 20% rune. Oh, that was a combat one. I think I might have gotten, well, I don't remember. Yeah, plus 20% rune reservation. Okay, so that's this here for magic. Because I was running some magic and stuff earlier today. So basically what I have done in the last few days, I don't remember where we were in the last video, but all my combat skills are maxed out. And I know I spent time on crafting because I just got that done. Obviously, I spent some time on astrology and agility. I think I went and got both those done. I think in the last video, I said I wasn't going to mess with them. I ended up get doing it. Herb lore, I'm pretty sure I worked up herb lore because I was looking at this in township at the trader. I needed to get, uh, let's see here. Once I got level 40, that means I can start getting, well, I was able to get the golden stars out, but now I can get the herb, herb boxes. And I thought there was another one. Yeah, potion boxes. So if I ever get this built up to where I can start pulling these out, that's like free potions. And because I got this free potion, I was able to go into township. There was this ta uh, township task, the easy one, where you had to turn in those low-level potions. Because of having that, I was able to turn that in. So we've got some of that done. And I've been, I've, I think I had, what, 40 tasks done. Now I'm up to 45. So I've gotten a few of these turned in. Uh, I think somebody said I could probably get this amulet of fishing from thieving. So that's a possibility. Uh, the rest of these I've kind of just been sitting on. Basically, the big thing early on was to get as many of these uh, abilities to trade stuff out as possible because I was just yeeting resources off into the ether. So with having almost everything has something in it that I can draw from, the potions and the herbs are going towards, uh, let's see here, that's going towards is it the arid plains. That's going towards these trading posts right now. I need to finish these off once I get the final ones, unless we can beat a dungeon today and get, get this going. That's where all the herbs and potions are going for my township. So I can't really draw from them, but I can at least draw out wood and stone and, you know, mineral or whatever this, uh, whatever all this stuff is, I can at least draw some of this stuff out that would, I was just normally yeeting off into the ether, but I can't do, I still can't do anything with food. So we're kind of stuck on that one, but it is what it is because we can't unlock fishing or cooking. So neither one of these is going to go. Although if I complete the dragon den 10 times, I get that. And I think everything else is pretty much locked. Slayer is going to be tough to get the fishing one. Eh, yeah, we can't do fishing anyway. So I could potentially get the dragon's den one out. If I go complete that nine more times, uh, we could use this one, which would be kind of cool. That'd be uh, nice to have at least something to stock up on. But um, I also, I keep having to go get money. I keep getting broke. And I think I was down to like 140 or 130 bank slots last time. I'm now up to 150. I've opened up quite a few. Oh, here's my list of stuff right here. Uh, we took agility to 70, herb lore to 40. 
astrology to 70. I worked on blue dragon hide because I could actually buy that. And, uh, my crafting level is now high enough. So I was able to get the blue dragon hide stuff out of it. So I do have, well, not a full set of blue dragon hide. I think I'm missing something. No, I'm not missing something. It's all equipped. I think I got the chess piece because I don't think I can actually do the chess piece right now. I think it was a drop somewhere. Yeah. So the chess piece was a drop that I was, you know, because you don't have to have any skill to upgrade it. You just have to have the skill to create the base. And I don't need that. Obviously, right now I'm good. But that does mean that I have a full set of um, blue dragon hide stuff to equip. And let's see, I worked up enough. I spent some time on the Slayer tasks, got those done. So I've got all the Slayer gear to work with. That took a little while. Uh, it's very slow at this point. Let's see, what else did we get done here? Um, just making progress left and right, you know, just trying to fill in as much of the little stuff as possible. I also went through and fought the Rune Knights for a little bit. So I got the helmet and the pants the plate legs. I already had the sword and shield. I was trying to get the rest of the pieces. And again, you don't have to have the, the smithing skill to upgrade these pieces. You just upgrade them and that's that. So I've got this and I stupidly sold my mithril gloves, but these actually, the blue dragon hide gives you damage reduction and they don't have, they have melee defense and magic defense, but they don't have anything taken away from the, let me, let me equip that for a second. I don't believe these take away from your melee. Uh, so you lose attack bonus, but you gain defense bonus with both magic and melee. So there's no real downside to having these on the using these as melee. So instead of keeping those other, uh, the mithril gloves that don't do any damage reduction, these at least do uh, a uh, 3% damage reduction. So a little bit of damage reduction built in. Now, um, let's see, I believe that is everything caught up. I did go and whipped up a bunch of these Ruby bolts. So those are ready to go and we can go, I don't know where my other bolts are. Those are probably over here. I need to move these somewhere. Uh, can I throw these up? No. Nope. All right. This is going to take up a bank slot. Uh, so we're going to run, I was looking at the dungeon. I think we need to run melee and magic. The two dungeons that I want to look at are going to be melee and magic. I did get uh, paladin gloves here. So we've got that. I need to put one of these rings on both sides. We've got plenty of prayer points. We've got some potions because it's, oh, okay, I guess I can't click potions in there. So we can do melee accuracy and magic assistance. So we'll work with those. I need to queue up some prayers, which will be this and this. And then on the melee side, it's going to be accuracy and more accuracy. So that'll get those. No. Did I just look at the wrong thing? Yeah, I totally clicked at the wrong thing. <coughs> All right. Melee accuracy. That's what we want. I did get up to agility uh, because it's up to this. I can pick an obstacle. The problem is I would have the only obstacle I can actually take is if I get Slayer up to level 70. So I could get this one, but it's going to cost me 150,000 Slayer coins, which I don't have. The rest of these are all locked out. I can't even go past this. So there's even I can't level up astrology or uh, agility past where I'm at right now, even if I wanted to. So I switched over to pipe climb here, which gives a little bit of melee maximum hit and evasion. I don't think there was anything else in here that was really worth taking. Like I would normally take like cliff balance. Eh, yeah, I would normally take cliff balance, but I don't really, I, I don't know. I don't want to take the negatives on any of these right now. There's not that much of a positive. The Rocky Waters, I've had that one for a while. That was good. Good to hang on to. So... What else did we do? I tried looking for some things in cartography. So I've got some of these sites ready to go. I did do a little bit of archaeology trying to get into. I still missed that one, but I was trying to get into some of these other dig sites. And then I found out some of the levels that I need or like I need to be a little bit higher level. I can't remember which one it was. I found something and it's like, nah, you need to be a lot higher level or this one. I need to find something else first. So. There's like a daisy chain. You got to find some of the other stuff, I guess. I'm not sure. I kind of gave up on it because I was trying to push to get into combat. 
Um, let's see, what else did we do? I feel like there was something else I was going to say. Uh, don't know. So, we come out here and we need to gear up for... I need to put flat barrier damage on this. Does this do barrier damage? 10% max summoning hit. See, this is on a 30% cycle. I think I want this to be every time. I think. Plus 10 barrier damage. You know what? I guess we're going to have to take that too, right? Do more barrier damage. And do I have... Oh, uh, do I have any gems for barrier damage? I may not. So I don't have any barrier damage gems. I guess I should rethink this. Well, that kind of... No, there we go. Totally blind. Totally blind. All right, so this is plus 10. This is 5% familiar, and yeah. All right, so we're going to equip that, and we're going to equip that. Uh, plus 20 max hit when using bolt spells. Yeah, we'll not be dealing with that. I should probably just get rid of that here. Okay, so we also need summoning tablets. So we're going to need the Minotaur. And I think I'll do the wolf on this one. And then on number one, we'll do witch and occultist. I know the witch occultist one. Do I have synergies in these? No, I do not. Just in this one. So be interesting to see how this goes. From what I looked at, this the dungeons that I'm going to look at doing, I'm going to try this golem territory. And then we're going to try this one if we can get through the golem territory. I might try the air god dungeon just to try it because I may not be able to get through either of these. I know I'm not sure. Uh, these are too new of a dungeon and I don't really know them that well. So I was looking at this. It looks like both of these dungeons have melee magic and ranged, but I think there was like one ranged and the rest are all melee or magic. So we're going to go on this. I think I want to start off with magic and we're under our auto eat and we'll go ahead and set magic assistance on here. Make sure that we are using fire wave and I've got 10% more damage taken on the enemy with life steal and melee evasion. We've got our prayers going. So let's see how this goes. Uh, I also went through and upgraded my gear, the fire adept wizard stuff. Uh, I don't remember if I said that in the last video or not, but I went ahead and put that up. And I was trying to fight the the uh, the dark wizards. So is this where we switch? Yep, we switch over to this. We're still within our auto eat. So they drop black wizard gear, and they also drop that little wand and shield. So we don't really have a lot of. Uh, oh, I need to put uh, melee stuff on too. Um, this. Make sure we've got that on. I don't think I have any of the wizard ones, do I? No, 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 no. I don't think so. Hey, we got auto swap food. Did I buy that? Huh, I must have bought that at some point. So our... We're going to do a little bit less damage. I'm still kind of hesitant on this major reflection of plus 50% reflect damage. Does that mean that they're going to do... Now, I guess it reflects my damage, I suppose. Not sure. I'm just wondering if that actually would impact the auto eat. Like, is that a number that's going to hit that I need to pay attention to? Probably not on this fight, but... Okay, I think we go back to magic again. Yeah. I think from here on out, it is all melee and magic. So, when we fight the magic guy, we may have to worry about that. Um... Oh, and I left the Lesser Summoning Amulet on. You know what? I should probably go and swap that out to... Oh, I only have the one. All right, never mind. I guess that doesn't matter. And I only have the one ring. So I probably should have given that all to here. But, eh, I don't know. I guess it's just one monster. It doesn't matter. Could swap things out before we switch over, but it, it's fine. I think we'll be okay. Uh, what I was saying is I was, uh, earlier is I tried killing off those dark wizards and I ended up getting this little wand and the enchanted shield. This doesn't give me damage reduction, but it gives a little magic attack bonuses. So I figure it might be worth having. Okay, this dungeon's going fairly smoothly. So we've got, this is six, seven, eight. I think seven and eight are magical, which I wanted to really try to get enough Slayer coin to get another 
gear slot. I really wanted to get that gear slot put in here. I just couldn't get it done. I, I spent everything I had getting the suit or the armor and helmets and stuff for this. It just didn't work out. I didn't have enough time to get it done. I spent, you know, I spent a fair amount of time working on everything else to get all that stuff leveled up and crafted up here. Like I got the, the Ruby bolts, so it'd be nice to use those, but it is what it is. Oh, let's see here. We've got two more fights after this, which I think, like I said, I think these are going to be magical. And I, I kind of wanted to spend some time in cartography and archaeology, unlocking some things, but I just couldn't get what I needed to. I couldn't find certain things. Oh, um, I don't remember if I mentioned it or not, but I think somebody in the in one of the last videos, yeah, this is in the auto eat. We're good. In the last video, somebody said that there is no requirement to find these dungeons in the cartography and archaeology section. I guess that's because people could lock themselves out of them and just not ever progress. So apparently in relic mode, you don't have to worry about it. So I thought that was cool. Oh, and there's one right there. I was uh, trying to fight the thieves here to get those uh, thieves gloves for thieving. I'll give you a little bit extra gold and stuff in there. I was trying to get that accomplished. Okay, do we get, they do, not they do not replace their barrier. So we don't have to worry about super amounts of barrier damage. Unfortunately, this is all I've got. I don't have anything better at the moment, which would be nice. I, I'm going to have to, at some point, I'm going to have to start focusing on some of these combat areas. Uh, well, I mean, I, I got to find these in the, cartography and archaeology first i guess but i'm gonna have to start focusing on some of this stuff It'd be nice to get i don't know what we get out of this dungeon anything cool um yeah if we get a hunter gem a rune claw would be awesome i don't know what level it takes to put that on but actually yeah any of this stuff would probably be really good i think i'm curious i mean is it going to be better than the garbage that i have now and that i can actually equip the only downside with where we're at is your gear changes very quickly from say level, I don't know, basically from level 20 or 30 up to 70 in that realm, you, your gear changes rapidly. Like your every few levels, you're equipping a new piece of gear and here's the boss. Oh, we're within the auto eat on this for sure too. Yeah, okay, so we should be good. Is there a different spell we can do to make this go faster? Uh, we could make them take more... No, I don't know that that'll do more damage. We could reduce their chance to hit, but eh, I'm not sure that's going to matter. I think we just let it coast. I think we're good. He does not return his barrier either i know at some point some of these dungeons or some of the monsters do start regenerating their barrier every few turns that was a big change they'd made after the the expansion came out and it'd be nice to have yeah see there's a few things that i should be doing i should oh i spent time on the deep sea ship i killed that off a few times i was trying to get a better sword and i didn't really get anything out of that so i spent some time with that thing there uh, what else did I do? Yeah, that was it. I think that was the extent of my dungeoneering. I want to go back and start working on some of these other dungeons for the pets, but because I'm where I'm at, uh, I need levels. You know, I, I don't want to waste the XP. Okay, so we level up. All right, what do we do? Summoning, I think, is going to be the answer. Well, that was an easy dungeon. That was way easier than it was the other day. All right, we need to lock this, open that, and we get some imbued bars. Great. I have less room in my inventory. That's good. Um, Summoning. I'm 99% certain this is going to be summoning because we're going to go up to Yak. Okay, we get defense. We get uh, smithing. Tortoise. I don't remember which one tortoise is for. I think that's new. Oh, yeah, Tortoise is for the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We do want that. We definitely want that. Take summoning. Okay, rune crafting to 99. Do I want rune crafting to 99? What do we get out of that? Fire expert robes would be nice. 
but I think I could replace any of that stuff. The fire, the imbued wands and all that stuff. What's my choice here? Oh man, archaeology. I, I guess we'll go archaeology. Uh, summoning to 85, I'm going to say probably yes. I think I want to push summoning a little bit further. That gets us into, well, basically unicorns and bears. Yeah, I think I want to get those. Yeah, because I do want to get, I want to get this up fairly far. Yeah, so we'll go summoning. If I get another shot at summoning, it's going to go to 99. Crafting or cartography? Is there anything that is going to be compelling up to level 85 in crafting? Medium urns would be good. Refined pure crystal would be good, but I can't do anything with it now. Because I can do... Oh, refined crystal. Okay. All right. So we could do red dragon hide and stuff, which would be great, but we're getting to the point where I'm going to be starting to work on ancient gear. So I don't think I care about that. I think we'll go cartography on this one. And I, I'm just going to have to take our archeology span agility is not going to do anything for me. I can't take anything at the moment. So I'm going to take archeology span for that. Okay. So what are we doing on time here? Let's try. I think we're going to take that same thing and we're going to go run this one here. And I believe it's the same thing. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? Range. So we'll start off with this. So, oh, and we're going to level up summoning at the same time. Ah, nice. Uh, everything else should be ready to level up. So as soon as we get our first hit, we should be good to go. Now, I don't know if we're going to clear this dungeon or not, but we're going to try it. I'm going to show the Atlas of Discovery dungeons in their entirety just the first time we do it because everybody's seen the base game dungeons like a million times. If you've played this before, you've seen it a lot. I'll show these because these are new. The, no the word novel is probably the most appropriate thing to say. Uh, we're getting some stuns off too. I don't know where that's coming from. I don't think any of my gear does stun. I noticed that earlier, unless it's, nope, it's all lifesteal. I think we're going to go melee. This is going to be ranged. I think, I think we go into, I think there's like one magic boss in here, or one magic monster. I don't know, we'll see. I think this is the same as the other one. It's two, two, and uh, two, 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 and one, or something like that. However, that adds up four twos and a one. Math is hard these days. You know, it's kind of nice to have a little better gear too because the damage reduction is a lot higher. I remember when we started that last one, it looked really iffy to do. Uh, the last, uh, the dungeon I just beat, I remember when we did that in a couple of videos ago, it felt like that was way off. I think we need to be, yeah. So we're still within the auto eat. We're still good. As long as we keep taking this stuff down, we are going to be golden. And I probably should switch over to melee accuracy in between. Uh, we are stunned for 214, and we're still within the auto eat. Going to have to make sure we get some stun mitigation in here at some point. Um, yeah. Okay. Magic's leveled up. Our... I think we were at what 284 hit point uh, auto eat. Now it's 288, I think. So I think this. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember looking at this fight or this uh, dungeon. I looked at it, but I didn't look at it hard enough. And I don't think this dungeon. Oh, I guess it does. So it's going to be. Yeah, there will be angry teaks and raging maples next. So this dungeon is based on the tree overgrowth. So you can just follow that. <clears throat> I think the last, I don't think the last dungeon is based on anything. I think the last dungeon is just a dungeon with random monsters. I don't remember. I thought it was based on the iconic cave or the mucky cave, but it's not. It's all different than any of this stuff where this one's based on the actual combat area. Okay, we're stunned. Get through this. Come on. You can do it. And we're up to magic. He's not going to do anything. The cool thing is just being able to sit here and let the auto eat do its job instead of having to manually heal through it all and really slowly kill off this stuff. 
I mean, it's a little bit slower than probably with, you know, if I had better gear, ideally I would be going and getting the imbued versions of all this stuff. And then we would have more attack and, uh, more barrier damage, but it is what it is. We can just sit back and chill on this. Probably should go switch out some of this stuff, I guess. I don't know that I, yeah, it's, I don't know that I could do it in time. Is there one that makes me speed up? There should be an aura, Aurora, that makes us speed up. That's the one I want. Make this go faster. I don't know if that affects the summoning interval. I don't think it does, but it definitely affects the casting interval. The downside to that, the downside to putting in a super fast cast is with the summoning interval being slower, you're actually burning up a lot of runes just not being able to do anything because every time that that goes off i believe it wastes some runes um 757 yeah see it's wasting runes and we're not even getting an attack off that's the downside but you don't have to keep switching around so it is what it is i don't remember what the final boss on this was i remember looking at this thinking that there was only one ranged or two or whatever it was and that it would when I looked at this earlier, I was trying to figure out what combat styles I needed, and I was kind of hoping I didn't need to have uh, all three combat styles represented. I could, if I had third gear slot, I could be running ranged against this guy, and it would go a little quicker. But I just don't have that combat style or the equipment set unlocked yet. That'll be on the. That's on my to-do list. Get that done. But fortunately. We'll be able to go, if we can get through this dungeon here, then we'll be sitting at level 70 and I can start going farming ancient gear and we can just skip all the other gear. Don't have to care about uh, rune crafting of gear or crafting or smithing or anything. We can skip it all and just move right into ancient gear. That is the coolest thing. And I'm kind of, <clears throat> in some ways, I'm kind of surprised that... Uh, <clears throat> Like you don't have to have smithing or any kind of thing to upgrade your gear. You just have to have the gold and silver to do it, which you'd think at some point they would put some kind of barrier in there so that you don't have to, or so that you had to have something. I mean, I don't know. I'm not complaining. Believe me, <laughs> I'm not complaining. I'm just kind of surprised. seems like there's requirements for everything else. And then you get major upgrades with no requirements. It's kind of odd. Um, we've got two more monsters after this before the final boss. Is that going to be melee or is it going to be ranged? Ah, we're back to melee. So yeah, and that shows up on here, doesn't it? Yeah. So I, I don't remember if that's a mod or if that's in the game. I think it's in the game. I think the thing that I have modded tells you the combat level. Eh, yeah. Something like that. No. Oh, okay. So the mod that I have has not been updated for the Atlas of Discovery. The mod that I have tells you whether it's an easy, normal, or hard task. Oh, but these don't have, those aren't in Slayer tasks anyway. That's another kind of an odd decision is you'd think if you got the expansion, they would add in Slayer tasks to go into the expansion. I kind of expect that they would merge that in somehow that if you had the expansion you would just get new slayer tasks and then they would just keep them separate from the other one no clue now the mystery is what's the final boss is he going to be no we're not final boss yet now do i want to be greedy and try a third dungeon and i don't remember if i've mentioned it in a previous video but somebody also said that if you you want to do all these dungeons before you complete it's either into the mist or impending darkness there's like some weird bug that you just can't progress forward or something or something something to the fact there's a bug so definitely want to get through these dungeons here anyway whether we do anything or not yeah i got to have to work on the volcanic cave and unlock the um, stronghold Unfortunately, I did not look at the Unholy Forest, or um, not the Unholy Forest, whatever that dungeon is. I didn't look at that one, so I don't know what's in it. I have a feeling that would be ranged. Probably should look at that before we run it. And I probably should just not be greedy today. Okay, go back to ranged. This one is 239. 
262. That's getting close. Does he have a stun? It doesn't say stun on here. Unholy stacks. Two thirty nine. So evil malice enemy performs a normal attack. You know what? We're gonna switch over to melee accuracy. Heal that. Uh, I'm gonna have to watch this damage for a second. So unholy mark gets applied, which damage taken percent of hit points missing. What does that mean? You know what? We could... No, we can't because it resets summoning too. I was going to say summoning's on a different counter. I don't think it is. So we're under the auto eat. There's 227, 228, 223, 258. We just need to be under 288. Well, 287 theoretically. I think we're okay with this. We're still not damaging it. There we go. A little bit of damage. And we got him stunned, so we can do a little bit of damage, get a little boost on that. Unfortunately, we didn't get f any further. Uh, all his damage is even, too. 212, 213, 214. Yeah. So all three of those attacks are doing the same damage. Yeah, this thing's cake. We got this. Shouldn't be a problem. Should not be a problem at all. So that, that was fairly easy. I expected a little bit more difficulty out of this, but... Having spent the time working on getting the rune pieces to this and adding a little bit more damage reduction, although if I had that ring on here too, it'd be a little 1% better. But either way, um, wow, well, there's two more dungeons done. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. I guess we got to take crafting. I don't really want fire making at this point. So, one of the things, I'll mention this again and, and maybe clarify it. I don't know that I've ever said this correctly the way I look at this. But when I'm working on my skills, if I find something that I need, and you know, I've raised some of these skills up before that maybe caught somebody's eye and they're like, why are you doing that? Because I was trying to get something out of that skill. Like, I don't need wood cutting at the moment or fire making, so I don't necessarily want to level that up so i'll go to crafting i don't really want crafting at the moment either but these are the only two choices that i have uh, we got to go farming um we're going to go summoning again and we're going to go herb lore and we're going to go herb lore again so that's all of it yeah so there we go two more dungeons down that was cake and i got more crap in my inventory i'm gonna have to just sell these off they're in the right spot. Yeah, <clears throat> whatever. I'll come back to those later. I'm too, I'm too uh, uh, starved for spots. So we've got crafting to go into, which is basically not going to matter. The only thing crafting will be... Actually, you know, crafting may matter because we can get the imbued stuff. Uh, those would help out with the barrier dungeons going forward. Which would mean having ancient... Well, the ancient gear goes too, I think. I think the ancient gear upgrades. Which, that would go off... Well, I, I don't remember. It's been too long. I've only I've only played through the Atlas of Discovery once, so I don't have it all in my head just yet. I don't remember what the ancient stuff upgrades off of. But what we're going to be able to do is now start grinding on the Dragon's Den, the... Hall of Wizards, and I can maybe try to work on the Volcanic Cave and try to get some ancient gear out of it. That will give us a huge upgrade because we're going to go from ragtag garbage into the stratosphere very quickly. So, this is a little bit longer video, but we got two more dungeons down and a lot more progress to go forward on. So, that will do it for this one. We will catch you on the next one. Take care.